We've seen so much misunderstanding about this Brigida change. We've seen it all in our comment section. We wanted to be sure to set the record straight and show exactly why Brigida did not get this massive buff that some people think she did. I apologize, there will be math involved, but it's incredibly important. The confusion surrounds Brigida's healing from her Inspire passive, because this was the patch notes, and if you just look at this without either doing the math of how this actually pans out, you might say, wow, this is a big buff. All these numbers look better. But like I said when this came out, this is the most irrelevant set of buffs I've ever seen in any game ever. This is such a small change, I don't even know why they did it. And let me demonstrate for you why. We have to remember that healing in Overwatch should always be described as healing per second, because that's what's actually going to matter in game. So because of that, let's look back to what the old Inspire did, as detailed even in these patch notes. It used to provide 80 health over the course of 5 seconds, which is 16 health a second. Functionally the same as Lucio's passive healing song. Okay, now let's look at this massive buff that they gave to Brigida. Now it's 100 healing over 6 seconds. Really big deal, right? Wrong. It's now 16.666 repeating, or 2 thirds of 1 heal, in a second. Oh, this is the number you should be caring about, and it is hilariously irrelevant. The change right here is so minuscule, allow me to quantify what this actually pans out to being. Now a quick aside, let's remember, Inspire resets every time you hit a flail, as long as the quote cooldown is active. Old cooldown was every 1.5 seconds, the new cooldown is one second. It can swing about two flails in a second. A little less actually, but for numbers sake, one swing takes 0.6 of a second. So that means if you never stop swinging, old Brigida would have refreshed on your fourth flail, but now she'll refresh on her third, because remember, for that cooldown to reset, the full downtime has to elapse. But either way, this refresh mechanic is so easy to reproduce in the old or the new Brigida, you can functionally chain Inspire for as long as you're alive. It might as well have an uptime of forever, because that's what it functionally does in a lot of cases. So whether it lasts 5 seconds or 6 seconds, you can debatably say that number is almost irrelevant, because most of the time you're going to be able to hit another flail within 5 seconds anyway. But let's say we had the old and busted bad Brigida healing at only 16 a second, in the window of time that we're now operating under 6 seconds, how much healing would the old Brigida have done? Well, 96 within 6 seconds, and now she does a whopping 100. So in that 6 second window time frame, we now heal 4 more health. 4! Can you believe it? That's almost enough to heal a Brigida shield bash. 4 health, like what? This is so irrelevant. Why did they even change this? I'm not sure. The other changes are somewhat significant, but the healing number is not. If you think this is a buff, I think you're ignoring how Brigida plays anyway. She usually puts her shield up, flails a bit, then puts it up again. You're usually not flailing so often that you're going to see this half second buff on the cooldown anyway. And then the fact that it lasts an entire extra second when you're in a poke, that's the only major upside to this entire thing. It'll last a second longer. That's the biggest deal because the healing per second we've already shown doesn't matter, right? Even if we account for the fact that there's a small healing buff to the entire team, so let's say all six members are receiving the new and improved, totally insane, super buffed, Brigida 16.6667 healing per second. Well, now we can finally grip on a number that might matter because it used to do 96 to the whole team. Now it's going to do 100. And I've done this. I didn't demonstrate it this time. The reason that's the same is because we're dealing with the number six often here, six second duration, six members of the team. Okay, so you're going to be doing four more health to the entire team in a second. And then if we stretch that over, over the course of six seconds, 24 entire team healing in the entire duration. So even if you were going to make the argument that this is a big deal for your rally charge rate or overall healing, the biggest number we're working with here is 24 to the whole team in six seconds. And that's best case scenario. That's where everyone was always injured and you're getting some value out of Inspire hitting them, which doesn't actually usually happen. If the enemy's focus fire is any good, only a couple members of your team will be injured at all. And maybe some splash flash here or there on somebody else, but that's not really how it works either. It already was strong. And whether you're healing four health across your entire team or four less health, I don't think that's going to be the difference maker in your cop staying alive or dying. The extra second of duration does matter though, because now Brigida has to play more defensively. She can't be shield bashing constantly because of the other nerf, but flails go through shields anyway. So most of the time in both cases, you were going to be able to reset Inspire in my opinion before that six second timer was up, or you were playing 
playing a comp that didn't play that way anyway. But my issue is with the way this works is I don't know where these fractions of a health point per second are really changing things. It's nice to say, well, the entire team heals four more, but that's not how damage is dealt to the game. You don't have an overall team health pool. Individual players have health pools. And is two thirds of a health point going to be the make or break difference whether somebody dies? I don't think so. Up against spam, sure, the extra four health here or there, as opposed to the previous patch, Maybe you notice it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm in disbelief that people think four health is a huge buff. But anyway, let's move on to the shield bash change, which there's been a lot of disagreement on this. Pros, of course, immediately came out and said that because Brig can't be stunned through her barrier, this is a buff to Brigida. Well, I think it's incredibly misleading if you say Brigida is buffed because in the mirror she can't be stunned. No, barriers were buffed. That's how I'm going to say it from now on. All barriers were buffed because all barriers stop Brig's shield bash. Now, granted, Brig also has her own barrier, but whether you're playing Symmetra, Ryan, Orisa, Winston, whoever, your barrier will be more effective against Brigida because she can't bash through it. In fact, having played a lot of Brigida, and the pros have said a lot on Twitter, I've seen many of them say, well, Brigida just stands around in Goat's Cop now. Goat's Cop will still be playable, but it's not because of the healing increase. It's just because Brigida adds an extra shield and stands there in the way, denying sight lines and takes up space and does heal and everything else that she does, punishing aggro with stuns, whatnot. It's more the space she denies with the shield. Having an extra barrier in the game is a really big deal. In previous videos way back in the day, even going back to like the Overwatch League Grand Final, I was calling Brigida a mini main tank, and I think that's how you should think of her. Adding that extra barrier and just holding it up a lot of the time is a ton of value even when you're doing nothing else. That's what's crazy, because she has those other cooldowns on deck to help out her team and just commands and denies space. That's a big deal. Now, 3-3 is still a viable comp to run, but there's way more counters available, and we will see a lot of counter play with that comp in Overwatch League, you can mark my words. I know a lot of teams are scrimming things like 3 DPS, and we've already seen Symmetra Bastion and other cheese stuff like that counter the GOATS cheese. Now, we'll have more videos explaining the GOATS matchup and how that's progressing and breaking that down, but... I just wanted to get all this out of the way about Brigida because it's important before we can even start discussing other stuff in the patch. I hope the video was helpful and explained some of these tricky numbers and the bit of wizardry they were doing with the patch notes to confuse everybody, but Brig was not buffed. If anything, the only thing that was buffed in this entire conversation is barriers, which Brig also does have a barrier, so that is a small buff for her in the mirror. But in every other case, Brig was nerfed, and the healing quote-unquote buff was basically irrelevant. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave it a like. It really does help us out and lets us know that you're enjoying the content. And if you haven't already, please subscribe because we upload each and every day. So you're going to want to hit the bell icon so that you get notified when our videos go live. Link to the description is our Twitter, where we tweet out news, updates, and dank memes. That's been it for me. I've been Frito for your Overwatch. I'll see you guys next time.